Hello, it's Pastor Sarah, and today is day 21 of our Advent countdown, and Minnie got this really cute little dress, and if you look closely, it's got snowflakes and mouse ears on it, and she's looking very wintry. All right, let's see what our story from our Advent calendar is today. A toy Christmas from a toy story. Take that, Andy said in Woody's voice. You're spending Christmas in jail. He put Ham the piggy bank into an old shoebox with slits cut into the sides. Andy was playing in his room with his toys. In one hand, he held Woody the cowboy. In the other was Buzz Lightyear, the space ranger. You'll be seeing bars for a long, long time, Andy added in Buzz Lightyear's commanding tone. So there's Andy playing with his toys, Woody and Buzz Lightyear, and poor Ham's in jail. Andy's mother came into the room and sat down on the bed. Andy, I have a surprise for you, she said. You know Christmas is coming up, and this year, for your big present, we're going to the Grand Canyon. Andy dropped Woody and Buzz on the floor. He jumped up and down. Hooray! That's the best present ever. Can I take Buzz and Woody, he said, picking up his favorite toys. I think it's better if you leave them here, his mother said. You'll be so busy, you won't have time to play. Now come on, we have a lot to do to get ready. So here's Andy jumping up and down, and Buzz and Woody are on the floor. The moment the door shut behind Andy and his mother, the toys came to life. All right, Rex the dinosaur said as he came out from under the bed. A trip is Andy's big present this year. That means no other toys can take our places. I was worried Andy was going to get a video game, Ham added. All the toys started talking at once. Hold on a minute, Woody said. Sure, it's great that there aren't going to be any more new toys to replace us. But did you think about what else this means? It means Christmas without Andy. Everyone went quiet. Christmas without Andy? Why, Christmas without Andy wouldn't seem like Christmas at all. All the toys looked sad. Aw, everybody's looking sad now. Buzz Lightyear walked over to Woody. Andy will be gone, but that doesn't mean we can't have Christmas. We'll just make it a toy Christmas. Woody looked at the toys around him and forced a smile. Buzz is right, he said. We'll have a great Christmas this year. But deep down, Woody wasn't sure. It was true that they could have their own Christmas, but without the kid who loved them, it wouldn't be much fun at all. After Andy and his family left for their trip, the toys started getting ready for Christmas. They had a lot to do. They made decorations, practiced singing songs, and looked for presents for each other. Psst, Woody, over here, Jesse hissed loudly. The cowboy found his friend hiding behind a stack of books. Look what I found, Jesse said repeatedly. She held up a red bandana. Bullseye's been looking for his bandana for months, said Woody. Jesse grinned. I know, it's going to be a great present for him. So there's Jesse, and she's found Bullseye's bandana. Come sing some Christmas carols, Wheezy the Penguin called to Woody. All right, Woody said. He thought maybe the songs would put him in the Christmas spirit. Wheezy grabbed Mike, the tape recorder, and belted out Santa Claus is coming to town and Frosty the Snowman. But when Wheezy started crooning Blue Christmas, it made Woody think of how sad he'd be without Andy. Catch you later, Wheezy Mike, he said with a tip of his hat. Woody made his way over to the other side of the room. There's Wheezy and Mike, and they're singing Christmas songs. Hey, Woody, want to help us decorate? Slinky Dog asked. Watch this. Then he yelled, hit it, and in a flash, two aliens bounced super high and draped a string of red and green buttons along the edge of the bookcase. Pretty neat, Slink, said Woody, and nice job, Sarge, he called to the army commander and his troops, who were hanging silver jacks that looked like 3D snowflakes around the room. There was also a Christmas tree made out of cotton balls and presents underneath it. Woody smiled. He was impressed that all the toys were working together to make it a very happy Christmas. So they're decorating. We've got a button garland, and we've got Jacks hung as snowflakes, and a cotton candy, a cotton ball tree. That's a really pretty tree. Mm -hmm. 
Woody kept track of the days on the calendar in Andy's room. Finally, it was Christmas Eve. Hours passed with secrets and whispers, and before long, it grew dark outside. The toys gathered together to celebrate, but Woody held back. He was thinking of Andy. Hey there, Sheriff, said Buzz. Why so down? It's truly a beautiful night out. And it's Christmas Eve. So there's Buzz and Woody. And Woody looks sad. I don't know, Buzz, said Woody. It's just not the same without Andy. You're right, Buzz said. It's not the same, but you have other friends beside Andy. Come on. He put his arm around Woody's shoulders. They walked past Bo Peep, who was reading a Christmas story to the newest toys who had never had a Christmas before. Bo winked at Woody, and his heart felt a little lighter. So here's Bo. She's reading The Night Before Christmas. Then Buzz led Woody over to the Christmas tree. Etch-a-Sketch stood by the tree, a roaring fire drawn on his screen. <laughs> Nearby, someone had set up the wooden blocks to spell out Merry Christmas. Get the lights, Sarge, shouted Buzz. The Sarge saluted and turned out the lights. Here's a little thing I like to call Christmas magic, Buzz said. He pressed the laser button on his arm and a beam of light shone on the wall. He pressed the button again and again and again. It was so quick that his finger became a blur. He moved the lights around to make a show of dancing snowflakes, sugar plums, and a lot of toys. Woody's jaw dropped open. Wow, Buzz, that's really great. I didn't know you could... He's making a light show with his laser beam. And there's the edge of sketch with a fireplace. His sentence was cut short by a jolly ho-ho roar as R.C. arrived, decorated to look like a sleigh, and following behind him was Rex, with a white cotton beard and a red sock hat. Sorry about the roar, Rex said, even though no one had been scared. Sometimes I'm for I forget I'm Santa Claus and not a fierce, bone-crunching, carnivorous dinosaur. Rex went to the tree and handed out presents to all the toys. Buzz got a Star Command four-way outer space signal interceptor. Jesse got a dress and Ham got a quarter. Then Bo Peep pulled Woody over and gave him a kiss on the cheek. He turned as red as Rex had. Ah, shucks, Bo, he said. So there's Rex and R.C. Look, he looks like a sleigh. And here is Bo Peep giving Woody a kiss. Jesse got a dress. Look, Ham got a quarter. Guess he's a piggy bank. Woody looked at his friends. Buzz was right. Christmas without Andy wasn't better or worse. Just different. Spending time with people and toys that you loved was what Christmas was really all about. Suddenly, Slinky Dog yelled, Everyone, check this out! He pulled back the curtain, and outside, snow drifted down. It's a white Christmas! Merry Christmas, he said. Woody smiled. Merry Christmas, he replied. So there they are, enjoying the snow. So, this story is talking about something that a lot of us, kids and adults, are thinking and feeling this year. And that's that Christmas is a little different. Some of us who always traveled or had family come and see us can't do that this year because of the pandemic and we're trying to be safe and healthy. So it does look different. I know for me, Christmas looks really different. Normally I would be leading four different services and having hundreds and hundreds of people come to the church, but now I'm doing everything by video. So it feels different, but you know what? I'm still with people who are important. I'm still with my family that lives with me. And I'm still with those people that I gather with for my job. And maybe you gather with people for your school, even if you do it on video. And so it is different, but that doesn't mean that it's bad. It just means that it's not exactly the same. And if we can find ways to see the good, even in that, because if we spend all of our time looking back last year and the years before, then we won't see the beautiful things that are here this year. And we will taint what's happening in the years to come. So instead, let's focus on the good that we have with us. Because Christmas is about God giving us something different than we ever had before. And that's Jesus. We never had Jesus before the first Christmas. And we need to remember that sometimes God makes things different so that the world can be better. And we hope that if we are all safe, that when we come back out together, that we will be better. And that everything will be better because we've learned to be people who have gratitude that's being thankful in our hearts. So 
so you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.